Soldiers give up a, a lot of privileges or rights to be soldiers and defend the freedoms of others. But certainly, the free exercise of religious faith is not one of them. I'm speaking out uh, on this issue because I believe it's important uh, for Americans and for Christian Americans in particular, American Christians, to understand what exactly is going on in, inside the military. I served in the United States Army for over two decades. I serve in the United States Army. I've been a member of the military for 25 years. Personally, I'm a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ, so faith in place, a big part of my life. The oft-quoted phrase, there are no atheists in foxholes, uh, contains a profound element of truth. The military profession is different from all other professions in that people are risking their lives and putting their lives on the line for another. Faith for men and women in combat situations is important because it helps them to understand the things that they experience. The threats to religious liberty in the military are getting much, much worse. There is a tremendous culture of intimidation and fear in the ranks of the American military right now. I think in particular, Christian religious freedom has been a target. I could cite numerous examples. You have a soldier who gets reprimanded for serving Chick-fil-A at a promotion reception and uh, tweeting his support of the Fence of Marriage Act while it was still constitutional law. I know at least of one case directly where um, someone was really denied an assignment that probably would have been a preferential assignment because of their beliefs. I've seen it get progressively worse, particularly in the last four years. When I entered service 25 years ago, it just seemed to be a completely different place. I think religious freedom in, in the military is being eroded um, over time, and it's become increasingly more difficult for believers to openly express themselves out of fear of the potential consequences to their careers. They appear to be bound and determined to eradicate the military and its heritage of any references to our Christian heritage and Christian beliefs. I think that the Army has undermined what they say are its values by replacing it with one overarching Army value, tolerance. When you're not allowed to have an opposing view. Uh, and if you have an opposing view, then your thoughts are detrimental to good order and discipline. It represents a clear and present danger to our military service to eradicate our forces from the Christian influence. In the military, we, we deal with life and death issues all the time. Do we want to create an environment where uh, someone uh, who is working with someone in a crisis situation is afraid to share what they believe because of the consequences? Uh, of what might happen to them if someone found out. I think we will see dire consequences if we don't work now to stop the repression of Christian faith, uh, particularly in the military. Liberty erodes over time, and uh, what begins in one part of, it, of, a, of a society will eventually bleed over to another. And it would be kind of naive for us to believe that if religious freedom was not tolerated within a military context, that it wouldn't somehow eventually affect the culture in a broader way. So I think it's important for us to, to speak our faith, to live our faith, and to not back down. The American Christians have to understand that this is not going to stop with the military. It's not going to stop there. This kind of repression is crouching at the door of the American churches. And if they decide to do nothing, then they have only themselves to blame because they refuse to take action when action was warranted. It's important for us as Christians to step up to the challenge.